Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also unbox this security camera. It is done by a company called Tanvis and it is model T8864D. It is a 1080p full high definition Wi-Fi home security surveillance camera. It is compatible with your phone app. It has night vision. It is an IP camera. It is IP65 waterproofed. You can pan and tilt and also zoom. It has two-way audio and also motion detection. It works with Alexa and Google Assistant. I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click to click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon, select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click to click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. You can see boxes nicely designed. and slowly take everything out one by one. And here are all the components that are part of this box. It comes with this user manual and it has a lot of things inside of it. Now this is more like a quick start guide so you can go through it and there is a customer service number right underneath of it with their email address if you ever need to contact them. But once you open it, you have your full information on how you will be able to connect it, what type of quality you will get, and more all underneath of it, what is included in the package, how you're going to be able to watch things, where you're going to be able to put the micro SD. We will give you more information about this and then how you will be able to install it. And if you need more help about where you're going to get the app, so you go in the back, how you will be able to play with the app itself to set it up and more. There is another paper that is part of this. It's called troubleshooting. Now this is more like a pamphlet. It will go through it. It gives you a lot of information. Now it also comes with these little screws and there is a little cap so you can put it inside of your drywall. If you now the power supply that comes with it is created for Canada, United States. Now if you're going to order yours from a different country, they will give you the proper power connector. So this way it will be connected. This side is going to be connected to the actual security camera. But I'm going to show you exactly how that is possible. Now this part of it is 12 volt, 2 amps, and it is 24 watts. So it is not taking a lot of electricity but this can go from 110 to 240 volts so even if you take this overseas this will work you just need the connector for the top so it's not going to give you any kind of headache and the wire is pretty long now the lens is sitting inside of a nice plastic and once you take it off here is the actual camera it is very very big and there is a little wire to it we will cover it in a few seconds but you can see that the camera itself is sitting in the front and there is the little lens right in the middle of it you can move it up and down and also you can turn it around to a certain point it will take a very very big area it will cover a huge amount of space it doesn't go 360 but it will give you enough space so you can play with it here's the best part you can see that the name is written really nicely on both sites this is ip65 which means it's, it is waterproof so when it rains on it it also does not damage there are little parts that are not in the covered which is the screws it may rest up a little bit or when you go around time but there are two antennas that will perfectly connect you to your internet and also there are little parts so you can put the screws through and the part that will be connecting to the wall or to the ceiling is also set up properly now here is some little information about the wire itself you can see that it comes with three different parts to it now this first part is the actual reset and it's always have to be capped inside we do not want to get water to it but you can push it and you can hold it for a few seconds so that way you can reset it and here is the LAN connection which is 10 100 and yes it has a little cap so that way no water goes to it always keep it closed if you're not going to use it and here is the power connection and that's how it's going to be powered up all right so enough said about it let's go through 
and capture more. So here you go, you can see that in the back part of it, you have a little spot that you can open and put a micro SD card inside of it so that way you can capture some videos and also you have a little part or speaker and that's how you will be able to have that two-way communication happening when you are going to use it. We will test that out and we will show exactly how that is. So as soon as you turn it on, we have to power our laptop charger on top of it to make this connected but as soon as you power it up it start moving by itself and it's trying to calibrate to find out exactly how this is going to work so yes it is right now just scanning and now we will be going to install the app and show exactly what's next since we're just going to install it one by one let me show you exactly what you need to do so we will go into our app store in this case play store we're using our yumi dg a7 we will go over here and we will search for an app that is called t-u-y-a smart so that should be this one this is the one that we need to install so there you go it just got installed and now let's go through it to open it up and now sync it up with the camera so when it's first time logging in you have to sign up now once you're in a main screen you have to click this and it will tell you to add the device so we will go to the device and then it will tell you to confirm to make sure that you are connected to 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi only it is not going to work with your 5g network so if you have a mash network it will work because mash will drop you on 2.4 by default so we have to go next and then say okay now we got to make sure that our wi-fi is on a 2.4 so in this case you can see that i am on 5g i have a regular wi-fi that is mesh networks and there you go now i'm connected so let's go back makes it very simple now from here you have to go to security and video to select your camera so the one that we will select is this one now we have to scan this with the actual camera so let's do that right now and once it finds it, it will beep. So that's how easy it is. And then say, I heard the prompt. And now it takes a couple of seconds for it to sync with this camera. And that's what we are waiting for. So on the top, you will get some prompts that says, make sure that your Wi-Fi is not a good signal. And also make sure that you are not that far from Wi-Fi. And the device is powered up. Once you set it up properly, once you go in, this is what you have to see. You have your actual whole information about today which how many degrees it is and also the humidity outside you can see right mine right now say 69.1 which is a really good temperature out there but it is a little bit chilly because it's four degrees now that's not the only thing we have some settings in the bottom one says home and one says smart now when you go to a part that says smart you can add and you can also get some information from there so on the top you have a little mic you can see that you can talk to it or you can click on that little plus sign and these are the steps that you should see now i am not going to play with this in this video if you require or if you're going to ask we will make a second video so we can show you more in depth of how this camera really functions but if you go to me it brings up all of the information that we have which i have to cover up a few parts of it and then you can see that this also going to work with your google assistant smart thing and also alexa so that way you can play with it more now if you click on more there are more settings here that you can play with and you can set this up i will get out of that the next part is the home management this is where you will be able to create your home if you have more than one place and also join a home so that means if you have somebody else's you can ask for an invitation you can send it directly to their email and you will be easily going to be connected to them now messaging center is something really cool that you will have all of your alarms in here you can see that when i started this it was march 26th so you can click on those and you will be able to get all of your settings in there my buddy was helping me out to get everything all set up and there you go now it's all done and this is the night one so we can go to it and how nice it is that you can get some color into it but once the night vision kicks in it gets even better so if i have to go to the second part of it because we have to reinstall the app and i have to go all the way in the bottom you can see that the night part of it it takes a really nice snapshots of the actual cars and it gives you a time 
date, everything is on the top, but you can also see that any movement that will happen, you will get a picture. That's not the only thing. If it is a middle of the night and you see this, there's a light right now just shining up right on top of the grass, it also going to pick it up before it even hits near to you. And then you have these three little lines that I'm going to put a little arrow. You can select that, you can change, you can grid. So that way it shows as a little part. And I really like it as a list because it takes more of the space on the screen. You have a little part that you can change it from SD to HD. And also you can use your actual main screen to move the camera a little bit to the right or back to the left. And this is all happening as we speak. And on, on the top right hand side, you have your signal bar for your Wi-Fi. Now that always increases and decreases stoppage. It will go lower or it will go higher. In this case, mine is pretty cool. And this is how it really shows. Now on the bottom part of it, you can take screenshot and it will show on the bottom that it is taking a screenshot. You can also see that little scroll running right now. And there is a recorder. Now that's not the only thing I came here for. There are little parts, something like playback. Now, if you already have a micro SD card in your actual camera, then you can record. Also, you can purchase. There you go. Go into their website. You can purchase space. So this way it will take all of your videos and it will upload it to them. It is not very mandatory to do so, but if you want, you can have multiple devices, highly encrypted and also secure storage all going to be available there. SD card. But that's not only thing you can see that I have a navigation key that I can select and it will be able to move the whole screen around. And this is how far it can go. And I have a little post that I cannot see more, but I can look down a little bit, go back and turn around. And this is how easy it is to turn around and you can look around and you can see exactly what's happening. That's not the only thing. If I have to zoom in a little bit, this is how nice it is to show on how much zoom you can do using your screen on this. And now if you double tap it, it directly goes back to main and beautiful. Now let's move this back a little bit and this way we can talk about this more. So we have more coverage and I have to bring it down a little bit. So that way it just covers our driveway and that's about it. Now, if I have to go down a little more, you have the part that in the night you will be able to turn on your light and this way you get a better quality picture and it's going to be color except that it goes to night vision. Also, you can set up a timer. So this way you can go through and you just have to tap in the middle of the screen in order to get your timer set up. You will be able to see everything. Now this one, for example, and you can see that everything looks really sharp in this and also on this app that how everything is set up. All the links will be available. We can order it from and also if questions, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click, click, click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is exitex.com info like us on facebook follow us on twitter instagram and other social networking places and thank you